What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to The Brown Gent. As smart and savvy traders, our number one priority is to capitalize on any and all opportunities. And man, do I have a really good one for you today. It's one of the stocks that I've talked a lot about on this channel in the past. And I mean, I guess it's no surprise since you can read, you saw the title. It's ChargePoint, the leader of EV charging solutions. And we've bought this stock many times before at $18, $20. And with their recent share offering, we now have the opportunity to take advantage once again of this great company. And this is really important at a time where many of our growth plays are hurting. So I'm gonna have a solution for you there as well in this video. And all I ask in return is that you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're almost at 2000 subs. So if you haven't pressed the button, you know what you can do to show your appreciation for this content. For all the new people here, everything I say in this video is just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. As I mentioned earlier, ChargePoint is a company that we've covered in detail in the past. I won't go into too much detail right now since if you want that kind of detail, I have a due diligence video in the cards above that you can check out. What you need to know is that ChargePoint is the number one leader in the EV charging solution market. And and they own the majority of the infrastructure in the US and they have plans to expand into Europe. Now, if you think back to the gold rush, it was the people who sold the shovels that made all the money, not the people mining for gold. And it's a very good analogy for what we see in the EV market as this has become a very competitive space and the charging stations and the infrastructure are going to ensure that market success. We've already heard from so many automotive companies and they've realized that it will take too much effort to create brand specific infrastructures for their vehicles. So they'll have to rely on companies like ChargePoint. And on top of that, we know that Biden wants to build a national EV charging system under his $2 trillion infrastructure plan. Who do you think stands to see the lion's share of this? Clearly the company that is grassroots and has a lot of infrastructure already up and running. With all of that being said, ChargePoint stands to be a big winner as a result of all of this and its growth rate is directly proportional to EV penetration. And this penetration and adoption rate of EVs will also grow exponentially given all the laws that have been passed forbidding the sale of gas powered vehicles in the future. So now you know why ChargePoint is going to be the winner. Let's talk about what happened recently. This Thursday, July 15th, ChargePoint announced the $23.50 pricing per share for their public offering of 12 million shares. Now this deal closes on July 19th, but the underwriters have the option to buy another 1.8 million shares at this price for 30 days. And what that means for us is that we likely won't see a big price movement in the short term. As shareholders, you never want to see a share dilution because it reduces the equity that you have in the company but it's something that companies do to fund some of their initiatives. The only time I despise these is when a company does these kind of offerings to pay off cash burn, meaning that they're only paying off interest expenses. Anyways, there's no point complaining about this. We have to look at how we can capitalize on this. Now, I've been a very strong advocate for this company and its stock, and I mentioned buying it at $18 and $20 in the past, and we've made a lot of money off it. I've also been very vocal about selling these shares and locking up profits because one, we're not in a bull market yet where we can see sustained growth. And two, because of that, most of the gains we've seen in tech and growth are fleeting and reversed given enough time. And three, it's only really profit when you cash out. This is why both times ChargePoint went to $30, I sold out of all of my shares. Just look at the two examples since the February correction where you could have made 50% gain just by doing this. And I know it's easy to get attached to a stock that's doing well for you when it seems like everything else in your portfolio is burning. But if you don't take profits, you stand to lose what you've gained. One of my friends, let's call him Jay, he bought ChargePoint initially after watching my video on the company sometime in March and he called me to let me know and I told him that I'd sell it once it hit $30 and he should consider that too. But he said it would be too much work to monitor the stock but because he believed based on what was presented to him that the stock would be very good long term, he just said he'd hold it and not look. Now don't get me wrong, Jay will make a lot of money off ChargePoint, he just won't make as much. Since that phone call, I made 50% on my ChargePoint investment twice and we're almost back to the price where he initially bought it. Now ChargePoint will eventually become a triple digit company. I have no doubt in that. But in the meantime, I am more than happy to continue to profit off it in the short term. And when I say short term, I expect ChargePoint to be 30 bucks by late September or early October at the latest. 
unless we see something crazy in the market. And ChargePoint currently sits around $23, and we may see this drop even further down to 20 or even $18, but I've already bought another 200 shares in this company today, and I'll buy even more if it goes down further. And that brings me to my last play that I think can really help out our portfolio. And this doesn't only apply to ChargePoint, but it's one of the best kept secrets in the investing game. I referred to it a few times before, but I wasn't really getting much views back then. And this secret is called the lateral move. Let's say you lost 30% of your investment in stock X, which you invested in, and now you think you made a mistake. If you no longer believe strongly in that company, one thing you can do is move that money into another stock that's taking a similar beatdown that you have a stronger belief in. Most people make the mistake of saying, well, I can't sell or I'll lose. Well, you only lose when you take money from a company that's at a low and then buy into something else that's at a high. You definitely don't wanna do that. But with ChargePoint, which is down quite a bit, you can see a 30% appreciation very easily in the short term. This will help you clear up some of your bags and free up that money to be used on other stocks. And to wrap up, I just wanna say while watching my videos is great, this is really a hard medium to connect with you guys since it's only one way, like I'm talking into a camera right now. So I'll be starting a live stream very soon. We also have a Discord if you want to chat because it's much easier to understand when you have a discussion and that's likely the best way to get or share some insight. It's a very easy app to download on your phone or computer, so definitely consider joining Spades Investing. You won't regret it. And before you go, press all the buttons and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.